And state officials are reversing course on a plan to rate child care centers differently. News 4's Mecca Thompson is joining us with details on this. And Mecca center operators, we understand, tell you the old plan. The rating could have really put their place in jeopardy with just one violation. Yeah, Kevin and Heather, child care center owners say those violations could include a missing electrical outlet cover or if a teacher stepped out of a classroom, leaving it unattended for even a minute. Not only would that affect the center's reputation, but also its funding. Now DHS is putting those rules on pause. I know that DHS is going to have to make some changes. Gabrielle Moon is the executive director of St. Luke's Children's Center. Her program is rated five stars. We are very grateful for them putting a pause on it. In the plan, if a child care center were to receive a write-up, two-star programs are reduced to one star. In three, four, and five-star programs are reduced to two stars. And if a child care center is rated two stars, there will be a decrease in funding from DHS by almost a half. And child care center owners say it would take approximately two and a half years to get back to a five-star rating. I spoke with the child care center owner who asked to remain anonymous. Her center is also rated five stars. It terrifies me to think that my life mission of child care, I've been in this a very long time, is being threatened. Those rules state that if you have one serious noncompliance, you're referred immediately down to a two. Mm -hmm. And if you go to a two, you lose your DHS contract if I make one mistake. Who can work under that kind of stress? Both believe putting the plan on pause is a step in the right direction. Step back and think what is a better way of getting our budgetary uh, plan in order and making sure we have a balanced budget without affecting the foundation of our workforce, which is child care centers. I think it gives everybody a time to look at it again and um, reevaluate and see the best way to move forward. And DHS has canceled tomorrow's hearing and the agency will allow more time to hear from stakeholders before proposing revised rules.